In this lesson, we're going to look at a jQuery method that jQuery UI overrides in order to provide us with additional functionality. There are several methods that jQuery UI overrides. Some of these are used with the effects suite, so we'll look at these when we look at the effects in detail. We're also going to exclude the position method today. This is another method that jQuery UI overrides, but we look at this in more detail in a later chapter. In this lesson, we're going to concentrate just on the focus method override. jQuery's focus method, when used without providing additional parameters, allows us to set the focus on an element, triggering any bound handlers. The jQuery UI override allows us to set the focus on an element asynchronously and accepts two parameters. The first is a delay in milliseconds to wait before the focus is set, and the second parameter is a callback function to invoke once the element has gained focus. In the working files, there's an example file called focus.html. Let's open that up first of all. On the page is an anchor element. We can focus this element after a one second delay and output the ID of the element that has focus to the console. We'll do that like this. When the page loads, the body element will have focus. We can then invoke jQuery UI's focus method. So remember, the first parameter to the focus method is the delay in milliseconds, and the second parameter is a callback function to invoke once the element has gained focus. And we can just add another log statement inside the callback. The element being focused must of course be focusable, and in this case the anchor has a href, and so it can be focused. So let's just view this in a browser now. And we'll open up the console. And we can see that first the body is focused, and then after a short delay, the anchor is focused. Any other handlers that are bound to the element the focus method is called on will also be invoked when the element gains focus. So if we add another handler for the focus event on our anchor, this will also be triggered. And we can do that using jQuery's on method. So the first parameter to the on method is the event that we're listening for. So in this case, it's focus. And again, we can supply a callback function as the second parameter. And we'll just add another console log statement here as well. Let's go back to the page once again. And as you can see, the other handler that we attached has also been invoked. In this lesson, we looked at the jQuery focus method that jQuery UI overrides. We saw that as well as focusing an element that is focusable, triggering any bound handlers, we can also supply a delay to wait before the element is focused, and a callback function which will be invoked once the element gains focus.